lot of customization or just playing around with it. BricsCAD includes a function that makes it easy to mess about with menus, toolbars, and other parts of the customized dialog box without affecting the main menus and toolbars. This is done through partial menus. The benefits to using partial customization files is that you can then experiment with customization as well as share your customizations with other users. To begin, open the Customize dialog box by right-clicking a, in a user face element, choose Customize, and when the Customize dialog box appears, go up here to the File menu. Click on it, and then you see here, Create New Partial KUI File. KUI is the file extension used for customization files, and it's short for Customize User Interface. So click on this menu item, and now you need to give it a name. So let's call it My KUI. Click Save. And you can see now that most tabs are now be this My KUI item. So there it is in Menus. There it is in Toolbars. There it is in Ribbons. There it is in the keyboard. There it is in the mouse. Tablet. Quad. But not in properties, workspaces, command aliases, or shell commands. Let's jump back to menu. So you can see here you can have your own custom main menu and context menu. Let's see what happens. To a main menu, we're going to append one. We'll call it test. And then we'll an item. So append item. It really doesn't matter what it is. We'll select constraint. And there's the new mini menu. And when I click OK, notice what happens. This new partial menu appears at the end of the menu bar. And when we select it, there's our coincident item. And down here, you can see the uh, GC coincident command being executed. So it's clear that by creating a partial customization file, such as this test one, what you create is completely independent of the rest of the menu. I'm going to prove that by getting rid of all of the BricsCAD user interface except for our test menu. That's done with the KUI unload command. Here's our two customization files. So I take the uh, existing BricsCAD group, unload it. Do you notice over here only our test menu is available? So then I can go back in here choose default, which is the name of the BricsCAD's default customization file, select it, load it, and now the rest of the user interface is there. You can easily erase it and modify it as you wish. The other benefit is to you can share your customization with other BricsCAD users. The way to do that is to go to the folder in which the partial customization file exists and then email it or else distribute it some other way. If you don't remember where the file exists, just go into the customized dialog box, choose it, and there's the name right there. The way to get to it easily is to come up here to the top of the customized dialog box and then click on the browse button. Here is the folder in which your customization file is. And from here, you can drag it into your email program or else use the copy command to copy and paste it into another file location, such as on Dropbox. Now, if you receive a customization file, you load it into your system by going back into the customized dialog box, click on the file on the menu bar, and then you see here, load partial KUI file and you can then load it that way and it'll appear in BricsCAD independent of the rest of the menu system, toolbar system, ribbon system, and so on. Mm -hmm.